Hey, so welcome back to the workshop. Alex is still away. Uh, it's another, now Monday. Um, my intention is to make a batarang on the same theme as the boomerang. Uh, I've got this bit of steel left over that I cut off the end. I was going to make a hoof knife out of it for myself, but decided that this would be more fitting as Adam West, who was one of the original Batman, uh, has unfortunately died. So I thought I'd make this out of tribute. My idea is to jump it down and then bring it out so I'll get the, the patination through the whole width as opposed to just a small twist. So it'd be nice and simple, but it's the idea that counts. So it appears that Alec has no scissors in his workshop anywhere that I can find. So I'm using my pad cutters. Um, these are like brand new. I've got a template. I think I'm gonna try the bottom one. I've seen this one made before, so I'm gonna go with the bottom one. Uh, whether it's just gonna be stock removal or whether it's gonna be forged, stock removal, I think it's gonna be the easiest. Get this section out flat. Um, hope I've got enough, not too much. Um, be the opposite. But yeah, just cut this out and uh, go from there. Right, so that's all drawn out. What I'm now going to do is I'm going to wait, put it back in the fire, just let it warm up, um, and then just anneal it slightly. I'm probably going to just stock remove all this. Uh, there might be a bit of forging later on just to get the shapes and just move some metal around because I haven't quite got the width that I need. Um, but other than that, I'll get it cool, give it a grind up, uh, stick my little template on, and then draw around it, and then probably go at it with an angle grinder to get to my edges. Um, and then take it to the grinder, put everything else on, and then hopefully we'll have a cracking time.
Right, here we are. I'm too scared to heat treating because of what happened yesterday. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to etch it and then um, see how it comes out. And then uh, if I feel like it when it gets back, it'll give me a hand to etch it. Um, I don't want to ruin it again. So we're going to pop it in for a little while and then we'll polish it up. So uh, thanks for joining me on this uh, voyage of stupidity. Um, really pleased with how the pattern came out. It's almost got like a, to me it looks like a cloudy night kind of pattern which goes in really well. Obviously I meant to do that, but I'm really thrilled with how this came out. Like I say, when I get heat treat it, hopefully it'll pop out a little better. I didn't really leave this for long enough. Um, just wanted to get the video out for you guys uh, and get back to work. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. And also, if you feel like it, you can subscribe to my channel. I've got a bet running with Alec. Well, not a bet, but I said if, he get, if I get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the month, I'll buy him a new car. So, uh, yeah, I don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing. Thank you very much. See you soon. One more thing I do need to tell you. This is the UK. This is not a Batarang. It's now going back to my workshop to get welded, and it's now turning into a belt buckle.